You're now tuned into yes. me, 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 Hamlin, a.k.a. Buzzer Beater, three-point game winner, Buzzer beater charity three. game. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you he know. He did knock that shit down. Though. He knocked it down. For, well, the, we, for, the, for the Perfect win. angle. Knocked perfect. it down. We will get right to it, so. God is good. Yes, he is. You understand? Um, it's a blessing that you're here with us, man. It could have went any, any other way, but God had bigger plans for you. Um, you here. But I'm just so thankful to be here in Pittsburgh with y'all and y'all giving back to y'all community. As you know, a lot of times we come up at, you know, we come from a place, the ghetto, where a lot of times people forget the, forget the community once they come up. Um, y'all too, I'm talking about great players in the NFL. Why is it important to come back to y'all community and bring so many people together, man? With so many... There was so many people today. It was just like it was beautiful, you know. Why is it important? Man, I'll start. I'll say that's just what I was raised on. Like, my mom, she always was, she was the community center lady. She worked at the BJWL Center. You know, my dad was hosting Feed the Hood Days for the communities, putting the AAU team together. So, like, it's in my blood low key to, like, get back to the community because the people is what make you who you is. So, you know, just for me starting out in general, um, you know, I always wanted to get in position to give back to the community. And then, you know, on my journey, me and Booby, you know, we just kind of had the same hearts. You know, we had the same genuine hearts and we love to bring people together. You know what I'm saying? All aspects of, of whatever we got going on. So Pittsburgh, it ain't it ain't much positivity going on. You know what I'm saying? And we know that and we travel the world. We go to different places and we we see the world. You know what right. I'm saying? But it's important that, you know what I mean? We come back here and bring people like y'all to the city. Like I'm seeing my timeline, I'm going down my mom's phone, just seeing people that's posting, getting to take pictures with y'all. Mm -hmm. They life made, like mm -hmm. they, they gonna talk about that for the rest of 2024. You know what I mean? So to give people those moments of experiencing the joy that the entire world can bring, you know what I mean? I think that's that's worth anything that I can have for us. Miles said something important. Um, during the, the game, I seen, you know, I'm always alert and paying attention to stuff. I seen, the, you know, different crowds and brothers. And Miles said, you know, today in Pittsburgh, it was like some some people seeing each other and it could have went a different way, but out of respect for y'all and what y'all was doing, some people pieced it up, you know. You know, how did that go about Miles? And how do you feel about that? Uh, it's, it's real big to me, uh, like I said, um, cause you know, as, as I do what I do, I'm, uh, NFL football player. I, I try not to, you know, I'm not involved into stuff like that. But of course, being in a city like this, you you just growing up and into that, into that type of stuff. You you know what's going on still. And I still got friends, and you know I still know people. You know that still go through all type of stuff, just like everybody else. You know, um, it's not as big as Philly. Nowhere near as big as Philly. But this but this city, it, it's wicked. It's really wicked. You know what I'm saying? So, but uh, but I can say hats off. To, to to everybody that that came and showed love today, because um, I pay attention to everything, just like Wallow said. Like I was paying attention, just making sure, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying just and out of respect to us, and I could tell everything was smooth. And I already had talks with people, you know, what I'm saying so. But today was definitely big. How Im how important is brotherhood in in the um, NFL? Because I see it was a lot of people that were that wish they could have been here. There was all in your comments like, damn, bro, I wish I had a king, man. Like, but I, and it seemed like it's a brotherhood going on, you know, where people connect from different teams. And the, and the brotherhood lasts longer, outlasts, you know, outlasts the trades and anything. How, how, how important is that? I think that's extremely important for real, for real. Like, football, the greatest sport in the world, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because of the brotherhood that it breeds, you know what I mean? My brother right here, I, I met him because of the game of football. Closest, yeah, yeah. closest thing in life, man. This this game right here will teach you everything. You go through so many different emotions, and it's it's always like this in this league, man. I feel like it's not no other league. Like it's it's the closest thing to life. I mean, I mean, it's after I me. Mean, 
sports period, you know, have, have their ways. But I think football, generally, you just build a brotherhood. You, you're out there going to war. I mean, football exactly. is the only sport out here where, like, the you know, well, not to say the only, but a lot of times the money ain't fully guaranteed. You know, you hear, oh, such and such time for such and such, and he got 90 million, but 45 million was guaranteed. And they gonna load it in to the back half of his contract because they probably gonna know they gonna let you go after year four. So, you know, being in the NFL was a dirty game. And every year they they trying to draft somebody to come in at a cheaper rate to take your spot. So and my position is, yeah, they do us dirty, but I'm I'm yeah, Philly did you dirty. I'm gonna speak on it. Well, hold on. Let me say this. Let me say this. I I am am blessed. I am blessed to be a Carolina Panther for sure. Absolutely. And I'm happy for Saquon. I'm happy for Josh. All the running backs. You know, Chris. Chris. Shout out to C Mac. Mm -hmm. He just got paid too. Like, finally showing us the respect that we we deserve because we do a lot. You know what I'm saying? But. Let everybody know I'm a number one diehard Philadelphia Eagles fan. <laughs> they did you dirty. I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to keep it real. They did you dirty, bro, because, you know, we used to talk during the season. I'm like, dog, don't focus on none of that stuff. Just focus on your job. Focus on being a good teammate. Focus on going to work, being professional. The, the money going to come. Yeah, for and sure, for man. you to do all of that, have your best year, and they didn't sock it to your pocket like a rocket, I felt like it was a little up. Yeah. I'm just keeping it real. That's the nature of the business. But yeah, this this sport is a business, man. I mean, that's what I had to had to realize, you know, and you learned learned it the the, the crazy way, you know, like learned it the wild way. So now you in Carolina, cool. You in Carolina, you you happy? You good. but how important is it? Because to me. If I was a player getting drafted, the team that drafted me, I would have some type of emotional connection to them. I just know me because it was like, okay, y'all took a chance on me. Uh, then I'm doing my, my life. Th- I'm doing my thing. So y'all took a chance on me. I'm doing my thing. I really want to be here because y'all took the chance on me. I'm doing my thing, everything. But then it's like, uh, no, nah, we're going to go in a different direction. How that make you feel? Just being honest. Honestly. Uh... Broke my heart. Broke my heart. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be honest with y'all. You know, Gilly, you know, I had, I, I definitely, we had conversations yeah, all the time. You know, I got a real connection with the city of Philadelphia and the fact that my journey went the way it went. It went. You know, I'm from the city of Pittsburgh, mm-hmm. uh, went to Penn State, yeah. and got drafted to Philly. You know, I, the whole, the whole, a yeah. whole PA, yeah. you know, so I wanted to retire, retire there, hopefully. But, you know, you know, things happen, though, and I, everything, I definitely believe that. Everything happens for a reason, for sure. No and you just got to control what you can control. So I'm blessed to be a Carolina Panther and just know big things is coming. You know? Absolutely. Shout out to my young and Bryce, man. Seen him. We chopped for it up. Show. Yeah. Gave for him some show. game. You know, I got to stop young. sleeping on my guy. No, he'd be, he be better this year. The offensive line going to come through for him, man. He going to hold up, I believe. Sure. You know what I mean? Damar. This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. Now, life ain't going your way. You know what to do. Shout out to New Amsterdam Walker. Uh, you caught your wife cheating today. You know what to do. Shout out to New Amsterdam Walker. Uh, you thought a check was coming your way and it didn't come. Mm. Shout out to New Amsterdam Walker. It's still five times. It's filtered three times for a clean, crisp finish. Now you can drink it straight up. You can drink it on the rocks. Juice, soda, or you could just make a classic New Amsterdam mule. Now that's up to you. But what I do want to tell you when you're out and about at your local liquor store, uh, New Amsterdam vodka, yeah. Get it to that register, boop. Get it home, drink it the way of your choice. It's the official vodka of bars through sports. So, um, shout out to the New Amsterdam queens. You can see we don't just front. You know, we ain't front. You can see the New Amsterdam is is right here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we ain't fronting. Now we ain't cracked this bottle yet. You know, but this bottle. Crack Dean, uh, yeah. Official vodka of bars through sports. Make sure you get you some New Amsterdam vodka. Right. You go through your situation. When you finally come back and 
you actually see what happened. What emotions come over you like? Is it like unbelievable? Is it like, you know, what type of emotions came over? Because I can't imagine, you know what I mean? Like, yo, I was, they had me on the other side. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And then I, I'm here now and I'm watching me basically on the other side. When you look at that, what type of emotions did it bring on you? I'm talking about when you first, because when you first come back, did you know what happened? Nah, I ain't know what happened. And I couldn't, I couldn't miss it. Like I fell in love with motocross because like that was the only thing that was on TV besides me seeing myself. You know what I mean? So when I first, you know, got back, got, got my phone back, you know, that was my first time running into it. And I had to stay away from it, you know, like I had to stay away from it from a little bit because I just like it was too many emotions. It was just too soon. And, you know, I still haven't really like truly locked in to learn all of the details of everything of what happened exactly how, because I feel like there'll be a time for that. You know what I mean? And I want to let that come naturally, you know, and I'm letting myself get back to being myself and living life. And I did that over the last year, you know, like I did that over the last year. And like, I'm at a great point. Like, I'm falling back in love with the game again. Like, it was so many emotions, you know what I mean? I wanted to get as far away from the game and just appreciate living. Cause like you said, I was out of here. Like, I, w I was done, you know what I mean? So everything went to square zero for me, you know? Like, I, I, I'm, I'm all love, I'm all appreciation. I'm always staying in my peace because I, I know for surely like, you know, it, it, this shit can happen at any moment. You know, I ain't go, I ain't catch that fight to Cincinnati thinking nothing about getting a win, getting that number one seed so we can get that bye week in the playoffs. I'm like, this is the week before the last week. We got the Patriots next week. We finna handle, we finna handle Cincy. We finna handle the Patriots. We're gonna get this bye week and we're gonna roll into these playoffs and go win the Super Bowl. That was the only thing that was on my mind was crafting. So, you know, I, I definitely gained a new, a new appreciation for life, for sure. When did you ask that question? Doc, am I gonna be able to play football again? <laughs> ASAP, like, ASAP. They, I woke up, I woke up. The first thing I asked was, did we win the game? So, you know, I ain't really know exactly what happened to me yet, so, you know. But you did remember something happened at the game. Yeah, I remember, oh, okay. I remember, I remember the game, you know what I mean? I remember the game, I remember stuff that was going on. You know, T-Boy, shout out T-Boy, that's big bro. Um, that was my first time. So T Boy kind of been like a, a real role model for for. He was like the one before us to make it happen in the city. So like I remember watching T Boy get drafted, and I'm like, man, like it's possible. You know what I mean? So um, that was my first time playing against him. You know, I sense it. You know, as a little bro, you getting to play big bro. It's like that was a big deal. Um, so um, you know, that that was the only thing that was on my mind for real, for real was like getting a win, you know? But once I woke up, I'm like, uh, damn, where was I going with this? When did you pop that question? Oh yeah, so so boom. Um, soon as I got up, I'm like, I'm wondering what happened. So ASAP, I'm like, I'm thinking, all right, I might miss a week or two. You know, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna get ready by playoffs. So I asked the doc, I say, you think I'll be able to play by the playoffs? And he pretty much told me like, he, he ain't discouraged me that you ain't gonna be able to play again ever. But in other words, he said, yeah, you, you're like, you, you probably won't play again ever. And that's when the reality of the situation of what happened to me set in. Because I'm like, okay, like now, everything I know in life is about to get snatched away from me. Like all I, you know, I, I my mom and dad always raised me to, you know, have a plan B and do other things outside of football. So I always had multiple lanes of stuff going on, but football is my life. You know what I mean? Like football is my number one. Like this is what I wanted to do with my life since I was a kid was grow up, make it to the NFL, play in the NFL, and I'm living my dream. Like 2022, that was my first year starting. That was my first, like I'm consistently playing in the NFL. I'm, I'm checking milestone, milestones off each week. So it's like, like, let's get it. Like, I, I'm, I'm loving life, you know what I mean? Like, I'm loving this life. I can do this forever. 
So, you know, having that, like, snatched away, and then once Doc said, like, you might not play again, I'm like, okay, like, let me slow my roll. Like, let me really see what's going on, and let me, you know, really take care of myself. What type of, for you, for you to witness that, Miles, you know the world was watching, but you know him personally, how was you, like, like, how did you come to his aid, you know, to keep him going? Man, uh, first of all, the way the way I found out, um, I remember watching the game, and then I had to go to the store for my son. And I came back, and he's, I see my whole family just sitting there looking at me. And I'm like, why, buddy? I look at the TV. And I'm like, and I, I ain't speak for the rest of the night. You know, he can ask my whole family. I ain't speak for the rest of the night. I was speechless, you know. And, but, like, once he got back right and you know first of all I never even asked him when he was going to play again you know like I was just making sure he, he cool you know I wish brother. I wish I could have been there to at the hospital but you know I don't know what 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 I'm just happy he he he, he woke up before the game you know what I'm saying because like I, don't, I was thinking like I, I was about to back up out that game I ain't gonna lie you know what I'm saying I forgot who was even playing that week but yeah, but just just supporting, you know, I just, like I said, I never even once asked him, when are you going to play again, you know, just whatever you want to do, bro, because you blessed at the end of the day, how, truly blessed. Outside of all that, right, y'all are being NFL players, and um, I talk to a lot of players in the NFL, go to different teams, talk to the rookies, talk, how do y'all deal with the side effects of success? Because like you, have the you know situation you get a lot of new friends um everybody want to come like they've been rocking with you uh your jersey sell differently um everybody want to get how you know and, and you know what's so crazy like and i'm gonna say it i've seen a lot of people with you i've seen a lot of people around you but I ain't seen him in Pittsburgh today to come to support the community. And they wasn't here this weekend when you had this thing for the, you know, for the weekend, a lot of these people, a lot of faces wasn't here. Say that again. A lot of, lot of y'all wasn't here. Say that again. A lot of you dudes that was rounding, my brother, I don't know where y'all was at in the world, but a lot of people wasn't here. Um, and we not talk about the people because the people of Pittsburgh people, was there. Up. They was there they today. They was out. there. That was jumping. We talking about, I'm talking about athletes. I'm talking about all type of people. That was different. Rappers. Right. I'm talking about all type of people. But you know what I did see there? A lot of football players. Shout out to B. Marsh. He from that city too. He actually Shout out B. Marsh. Shout out AD. AD for AD show. AD pulled up on us. Shout out AD Russell Russell. for show. Shout out Trey the Truth. Trey the Truth. My guy right there. Right here with us. You know? Yeah, yeah I me. Mean, shout out brother. my brother Molo. Shout out bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. How do you deal with it? Like, 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 like a lot of people don't understand when success comes, the side effects of success and all the fake shit that go on. How do you deal with that? Let me just tell you one thing. It's been more of falling out than gaining new friends. We ain't the type that we don't hang with. We don't really hang with a lot of, like, we, we cool with a lot of athletes, you know what I'm saying? But I, I can say one thing. We, we, we hang with who we know, who we grew up with. Everything, everybody that I hang with, I can say is five plus years. It's getting more than that now. You know I, think, I think life. And it's not a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? So. I think, I think throughout the journey, you know what I mean? We've seen so much, like, People go left, people go right, people change, people flip. That like, it's hard to, it feel like a waste of time almost when you really try to like make new friends and really hang with new people consistently. You know what I mean? I'll make relationships. And, but at the end of the day, like in my simplest form, I'd rather be with bro and all of my people that I hang with here in the city. You know what I mean? That you'll see because loyalty outvalues everything to us. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't care what you got. I don't care what you need. I don't care what it is. As long as you're loyal to me, like, and yeah, you've been with me from the from the jump, it's all love, you know. But just having success come at you, it's like people ex people expect things from you, and they really only see you for the opportunity that can benefit their situation. Mm -hmm. They don't even see you about. They don't even see you as what you might have going on or 
what you got to do to keep your boat rocking. They only see, okay, I got a connection to him, so how can I use him to leverage my situation and get where I want to go? Where it's like, you know, there's a time and place for that, always. Like today, that was a time and place for that. You know what I mean? The people came out. It's a community event. We here for the people. But you can't you can't live life like that. Like, and it be the closest friends that you would think would be a hundred percent genuine and want nothing from you that really be the ones that that be trying to hold you back or upset that you got to do things differently to move how you got to move. Not we got a uh, how many teams in the NFL? Thirty two. How many? Thirty-two. So we got four different teams on this couch right now: Buffalo, Panthers, Eagles, and Kansas City Chiefs. The fuck <laughs> out you mean? That's my squad. The fuck out of here! You I'm, saying that. I'm just saying that's my squad. I thought what fuck happened fuck to Tampa Bay? Right? No, no, no. You no, act no. like I don't watch the show. No, what no, happened no. to Tampa Bay? <laughs> Tampa Bay. This is what happened. Tampa that's Bay. All we do is Tampa watch the Bay show. lost, and I and I and I moved out. I'm just saying, man. We got four teams. My team, because I, I want to know this year coming up, because I know I know we gonna be there. I want to know who else gonna be there with us. <clears throat> you know we finna be around. <clears throat> who gonna be there? You know, I don't know what that's about. Uh, fly eagles, fly. You know the song. You in Carolina, but you know the song. I see you on December. Now one, two, three. <laughs> Hit him though. low, hit him high. You know the song. <laughs> you know the he was singing for real, for real. <laughs> he said he's gonna man. see you on December, but who, who gonna, I, who gonna be there with us? He's, I know the Eagles gonna be there. Trey over there said, Trey said, you know Houston. we gonna be around. You know, you know we gonna be around. Buffalo we gonna be around. Home. Buffalo gonna be around. Oh, uh, the H town. H-Town. When the last time you went to a Texas game? Before last year. Before CJ got there. You're right, but look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, gotta, you gotta get CJ, you gotta get Tate. Oh, oh for sure. Yeah, they, I think, yeah. I think, the boy's I, nice. I think they definitely gonna. Y'all gonna be worth that. Last year still was a good year. Hey, y'all got a great year. They say the San Francisco 49ers are the favorite to win the 2025 Super Bowl. In the, now, now, well, and hold, be, in the Kansas City. Now, I will say this. Hold up, I will say, I will say this. Joe Montana from Pennsylvania. Oh, I'm shit. Montana. Listen, Jerry Rice used to be my guy back in the day. I'm just putting that out there right now. I'm just putting it out there. Talking about the Niners. Oh, I'm, no, no, I'm just oh, saying, like they now said, they win. He gonna be a Niners fan. Shut right, your right, dumb right. ass he up, have a man. Jersey. They don't oh, say man. Eagles nowhere in this joint, man. It don't matter what they say. That shit don't mean nothing. No, I usually do something. Cause they had Buffalo last year. They said Buffalo was, you know, they had Buffalo and Buffalo didn't do it. We folded. We folded. Huh? They we folded. It's shit. all right. It's Eagles. all right. We're gonna be there. Yeah, y'all and y'all lost yeah. y'all receivers. I rather. Look, yeah, I'm just, look he, he couldn't even say nothing about that. I said, y'all lost y'all receivers. He said, we did. And them is my look. look. <laughs> because them is, down, uh, down in Houston now. Steph is my... Steph like, down in Houston. Look, look, look at this nigga. Just film yeah. this nigga. He's smiling like that. Why are you smiling like that? They stacked up down there. I'm going to just, 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 just be quiet. You know what I'm saying? That hurt. We're going to win more than two games. I know that. That's all in that? Yeah. Who the... Uh, <laughs> Don't just throw that <laughs> out there. Y'all. I just got to say... You know what I'm saying? Honestly... Honestly, I'm going to tell y'all right now on here, Bryce Young is going to come back this year and he's going to ball the fuck out. Watch. He's a baller, bro. He, let me just tell you something. Long as he don't start second guessing himself. Nah, he ain't. Nah. Then he going to be good. Nah, that's yeah, my, that's too cool. Right? That's my league. dog right there. The league is really so much about confidence and believing in yourself. Yes. Is. Like, yeah. it's not really about so much skill and so much what you can do yeah. better than the next person. No, it's so much believing in who you are, knowing your strengths, like believing in who, like what you're about. Because as long as you can have that confidence, like you can go out there and you've been doing this your whole life, literally. Yeah. Ain't that what I told the rookies? You always, you always say that. And, and, and I believe, I believe that it's like that dog in the neighborhood. You know that dog when you walk past the house? That dog that always runs to the gate and bark at you, no matter if it's raining, snowing, two o'clock in the morning, you gotta be that dog every day, every season, no matter the weather. If you're not him, if you're the nice dog that just wanna chill, if you, you it ain't no chill because 
One thing, when y'all step on that field, anybody could turn it up. It could be anybody big day. Anybody get that touchdown. Anybody get that interception. Anybody get that sack. It's just about the energy because you can see it from, you know, now hold, hold. The TV do lie because friend Tyreek Hill. You ain't got no chance. No, because I didn't have my cleats on. <laughs> now, it would have been a different the story. Fuck out of here. If I had my cleats on. Ass. But when he turned I'm it up on he Turbo. Said some real shit. No, no, no I was. I was. <laughs> he turned that shit up on Turbo. I said, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Yeah, he fast, man. Man, it's different. The TV be That's too slow. That's different speed. That's different speed. The TV be too slow. Now, who the top, in both of y'all, you know, categories, who the top players in the game right now? My position? Top five. Position? No, y'all play. In, in y'all position. In my position? Top five. Both of y'all. Your my position, your position. Current, right now? Yeah, right now. Top five. Your five is your five. You know, I ain't... I'm, you know, you know. Your five is your five. Nah, feel about me, but uh, I'm gonna give you my five, dog. Like you know, dogs. Trap. Etn. Mm hmm. He balling. <sighs> he balling. Uh, I like uh, Gibbs. Mm hmm. Aaron Jones. Mm hmm. C Mac. Mm hmm. Uh. I like Aaron Jones too. Damn, damn, damn. Come on now. You know, looking at them stats. Oh shit, I gotta get 200 this game. Cause <laughs> Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, I say, I say Christian. I was about to say, hey, you, you can't leave. You can't leave Snow. And Chuba. Chuba Hubbard. Safeties? Hmm. That's my dog. Safeties? I, I admire Minka's game. I really like Minka. Yeah, no, uh, Fitzpatrick. First of all, this oh, is Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick. Yeah, Minka Fitzpatrick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Couple yeah. Couple yeah. He's a DM. Yeah. Minka, yeah. Yeah. Who else? I, I, admire, I admire Minka Fitzpatrick's game. Um, I watch a couple people. I've been a fan of Malik Hooker. He from he from a, he from the city too, for real. Oh, okay. Yeah, Malik from the city too. I've yeah, been yeah. watching him for a long time. I will give you my top five like receivers okay. that I that I didn't play against. Top five, mm -hmm. obviously Steph. Seeing Steph every day, mm -hmm. that's a different monster. Like, mm -hmm. if Steph got his cleats on, he's coming to work. He's coming to bust ass, and he's talking shit while doing it. Like, mm -hmm. I gotta give him as far as every time I get I get a chance to because he like he barbecue baked your ass in practice. No, I, I, I <laughs> no hold on. I used to hold my own. I used to hold yeah, my okay, own. I used to hold my own. I used yeah. to hold my own. That's where I gain respect. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's where yeah. you gain some respect. Absolutely. That's where you know I ain't the type to be like. I'll come in the building. Obviously, I'm a rookie. Yeah. He, Steph, the man. You know. He's talking crazy to you though. In practice. He's talking crazy to me. Steph going about. His Shout business. out to the boy Steph, man. This is the yeah. Shout out to the boy Steph. He going about his business for real, for real. Mm -hmm. But you know, I don't want to be the all up in his face. You know, what I mean, I want to earn my respect off of off of my body of work. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So and so as a as a rookie, as a young and I'm trying to craft. You know, I'm trying to craft any opportunity I get, whether it's scout team. I'm, I'm trying to show something, you know, it's an opportunity to make a play so you can so I can get my respect, you know, and, and over time, you know, through that and building a relationship off the field, um, we, you know, we we became really locked in. That's that's my big bro for sure. So I put him number one always. If he coming to put his cleats on, he's coming to bust ass. Um, Jay Jettas. Shout out him. He just broke the bank. He just took the top off the roof, mm -hmm. literally. Shout out Jay Jettas. He different, like he, <laughs> and he catching everything. He'll go up for whatever. Um, I'm gonna put my baby bro Jordan Addison in there too. He holding it down out there in Minnesota for surely, right along with Jettas. He gonna he gonna be somebody that I keep progressing. Um, Tyreek Hill, obviously, like that's a. I was I was just I was hoping you did not leave the him out of there like. <laughs> I came this close hey. to locking him up. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. It's close, man. Yeah, you, you called the I just cops had a busy, on him. Even, right? I had a busy day. You called the cops on him. That's only. <laughs> that's a whole different monster. Yeah, so that's five, or that was four. That was that was four. Okay, who the fifth one? Uh, that's a plug and play. Like that's plug and play. Let me see, because. E.G. Brown. 
AJ Brown. <laughs> me and AJ Brown got so much history. Me and him was on the same team at the opening together. For real. At the uh, at the um, Nike, the Nike uh, Resort yeah. in high school. Yeah. He was on the same team. AJ Brown. That was, was my special. roommate. Everything has. In wait. That was my Everything. roommate for That's the uh, owner of my All American okay, game. He different, for real. Mm-hmm. Like, he different. He played the same way now, same way. Who else? AJ can take that five. Um, you gotta respect D Hop. You gotta respect Amari Cooper. No, you gotta respect. Five. No, come on. See, you trying to done that? You gonna turn five into nine? I'm giving niggas five, five or nine, man. Goddamn, man. God damn, All right, man. I'm standing, all right, you want me to stand on business? <laughs> Who we got? You got four. Is AJ Brown going in there? <clears throat> he he ain't put CD Lamb in there. Ooh. CD up there. I'm just saying. Yeah, shout out to five. Oh, no, don't try to make it up. T- I'm trying to make he's it up. making it up too much. <laughs> he's doing too much. No, he's cut off. <laughs> he got his five now. Now, you're coming out of high school right now. No, year ago, you're coming out of high school. There's no NILs. See, there's no NILs. You're only visiting three colleges. You're going to see Urban Myers. You're going to see Nip Saban, and you're going to see. Coach Prime in Colorado. What team you going to? What team you? What team? What hat you putting on? Ain't no question. Prime. I'm going. To we got the Colorado. same last name. We're going to Colorado. Why? <laughs> but why? Outside of outside of Prime being black, outside. Why are you going to go get with Prime? Look what he's doing. The type of man he is. You know what I'm saying? Everything he stands for as a as a human being. You know, outside of outside of what he is for the culture, outside of who he was as an athlete. What he stand for as a as a, a man that put his pants legs on how everybody else do and put his right foot in front of his left and walk. I'm going to go play for him. You know what I'm saying? Like I I want to model my life like that when I get that age. You know I want to live like that. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a man of God. I want to. I don't, I don't know if y'all be I don't know if y'all be tuned in with his son be doing with the videos and stuff. But I, I man I be so bored at home. I, I watch all them videos on YouTube just like I watch y'all podcast. But like. You watch the like you watch the team meetings. Like he teaching them grown man stuff. Like he's he's not playing no games with them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You mess up in class. He's a, he's next a meeting. It, just know if you did something in class, next meeting you gonna get caught out on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's man, not gonna keep that. I done been there. I done been there <laughs> six seven times. Shallow, take that jersey off. Come on, get up out of here, man. He ain't got no picks. No, for real. Shallow, come on. You, know what I'm you gotta respect it. <laughs> because he like he like if I tell you to come in all white, have all white. Why would you have a blue Jackson State shirt on? Or why would you have a discolored Colorado shirt on? So okay, so you don't not listen, you don't pay attention to detail. If you ain't paying attention to detail to what I tell you, how you gonna pay attention to detail on the field? Get your ass out of here. Come on. You playing yeah, around. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's the standard of excellence. And I was close to going to Ohio, Ohio State while Urban Meyer was there. I ended up just staying home, you know, just because I was trying to do something big for the city. Like, we all were supposed to really stay home and go to Pitt, for yeah, real, you know, for you real. Know what's crazy? What's so crazy? What's and so, stay home no, and go to Pitt. I got a story. Real. He know he know the reason why I ain't go to Pitt. Why? Let's talk about why, why, it. Why you ain't go to Pitt? Let's before talk I say, about it. it. You before want me I say, say it, I say, I want to hear what you going to say. You want me to say it for real? Yeah, we want you to say it for real. You know why you ain't go to Pitt? You can't go. To, you can't go to no visit, and the head coach tell you that your mom is no no does not matter about no about your process. You know what I'm saying? The oh, they told maker. you that at Pitt. Mm. That's all I gotta say. Mm. So, I, I, so he went to Penn State. And shout out to Coach Franklin. And like we were saying, talking about Prime, like Coach Franklin is definitely one of those those type of coaches that it ain't all about football. He's teaching us grown man stuff. So shout out to Coach Franklin. I don't know how everybody. I like Franklin too. In my you know what I'm process. saying? So that's my that's my dog. He changed my life and gave me opportunity too. So shout you know what's crazy? Too. You know what's crazy it, because when you say stay home, I was gonna go to Temple, but I wound up going to Penn State too because we got to. Because I was coming out. <laughs> he, he I was, no, no, I was coming out. For, <laughs> I don't know what to take you serious. I was like. coming out for no, no. At that time, because Villanova wanted me for a kicker and Penn State wanted me for Let's a punt it. return. So no, straight up, I, 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 I played. I played two. Long 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 snap. Snap. I'm about to say long. <laughs> he let it be like this. What? <laughs> you said all two. No, I ain't do all that. I ain't do all that now. Well, you know, why Trey over there laughing at Trey? Trey, always, <laughs> Trey, every time Trey always ride with you, I don't mess with you. Now, God, man. now, now, the game. What is like? 
what is that feeling, man? Getting so close, y'all both played on top flight teams to get to the next level. I'm talking about next level teams. Like, how do you start over again after you lose that big game and you know you gotta go home and watch this shit on the TV? Like, how do the team regroup? What is them conversations like? You know? I, I didn't get a chance to regroup with the team. I, I went to I a know, different I know, team. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but you know, uh... <laughs> <laughs> But no, nah, but no, nah, but uh, players fuck up too, I ain't, man. I ain't gonna we lie, man. Up. I ain't gonna lie. When I witness, you know what I'm saying. But you gotta give it to Pat Mahomes, man. Yeah, Shout out to the Chiefs today. That's a hard that's team to beat, man. That's a hard team to beat, and yeah. So that's all I gotta say. So y'all think so? Patrick Mahomes, without a doubt, is the best quarterback right now. Oh, for sure. That's a, he got his own category. Okay. You gotta respect. Who your top five man. quarterbacks in the league right now? Don't in say nine. Right now. Don't say nine. We already got Patty out the way. Josh Allen's my favorite quarterback. Okay. okay. Josh Allen's your favorite that was, quarterback. That was, that was legendary. Okay. See, see, you know what? Okay. That, that was legendary. So Josh Allen's, okay. So the Josh top Allen's five, we got Pat, we got Josh Allen in there. Any game I'm taking the field, I got 17 in my hands, I feel like I'm winning the game. Oh, he's a dog. And I don't even care if we playing 15. Josh is a dog. I don't care if we playing 15. I, if, I, if I got 17. What about when y'all playing one? 17 I'm reasons. just saying, what about when you're playing one? You know, you know what was really supposed to happen when we came to Philly. You know not, what was supposed what to happen. Supposed we were supposed to, to get y'all about the way. I know what happened. And, and you and you seen how I, things went afterwards. We put, it on notice. we put it on notice. Oh, all, things things went, uh, we had it on hush. Let me just say this. Things went bad for all of us after that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that, yeah. None of us said, we're going to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, oh, you know what's crazy? I never seen nobody go to Disneyland. Like, you never see it. They say that, but I never see no pictures in Disney. No, that's a check. Yeah, a trip to the White House. You talk about. That's I a never, check in a commercial. And they ain't gonna I never seen nobody speak. go to Disneyland. Because I ran down of that Rams was my squad. Well, it was crazy. Yeah. And he was sitting there with his wife. We going to. I'm you like, told him that today. <laughs> oh no, he, you know what's crazy? A legendary story about about AD before before the Rams. AD. Before <laughs> Rams. Watch, watch, watch. Before no, but it's no bullshit. We in Miami, right? Super Bowl. So we down there, I'm sitting there, you know what I mean, because I out of commission for a while. I wasn't on sports for a while. This was about the time I got, was getting back in the game. So 88 was like, Wallo, what's up? I'm like, yo, what's up, man? This 2019? Yeah, so listen. So, so, no, no, there's no bullshit. I want to tell Gil, yo, man, yo, the, yo, the boy from, what's the name down there, man? WWE, the wrestler boy. The girl was like, Wallo, that was Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. I said, what the fuck? Oh, we I, had a, I had an assistant at the time. He snapped. He, he called me. He was a WWE wrestler. He threw a nigga was a wrestler. He, he told me, yo, I just I seen a wrestler ball. Wrestler joint, so I'm, I'm like, who? You hear in the background, like, he wasn't a wrestler. That was Aaron Donald. He's the best defensive player in the NFL. And I'm like, cut he like, snap. He snapped out. I said, where that nigga at? <laughs> Go back and get him. Put me on the phone with him. <laughs> Fuck you talking about a wrestler. Fuck you thought that was junkyard dog. You know this nigga. Yeah, One of them old ass wrestlers. You, you a fucking nut. I forgot you said that. Yeah, I just seen this wrestler. Then he wound a up wrestler. winning the Super Bowl on my team, man. It was crazy, man. It's a year, man, Rams. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking loser. Like, I can't, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Before, I gotta get in this. I think sports fans, there's no bullshit. I think some of the sports fans are some of the biggest losers in the world. You sit there with a team for 15, 18, 20 years, and they never win a chip, and you go back to the game every year, you cheer for this shit, y'all lost your mind. I'm, you got one shot with me. You got one shot. You got one, you got one season to prove that I should be a fan of the team. If you don't get that shit right, bingo, you're done. Right there, I'm picking my, listen. Sometimes I, it don't fall your way. No, sometimes listen, sometimes listen. the chips don't be in order if, for you to. We in that big game. Because yeah, Buffalo chips ain't fall. They want the four <laughs> Super Bowls. <laughs> I'm telling, you, I'm, telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. That's, that's, mm. If y'all did right, when the clock stopped, I'd have been right here blasting my Griselda with my jersey on, my Buffalo jersey on. But y'all ain't do right. <laughs> you got to earn my fandom. Now, and I'm going to say this, though. And, and I don't play with teams. I don't play with teams. No, that's some dick eating bandwagon. You gotta earn my fucking fan. <laughs> when I went to when I went to Wilson, 
He burnt my fucking, he burnt my, my, uh, my, uh, what? Dallas jersey. Well, no, what jersey did I have for that? No, no, I had Kansas a, City Chiefs. I had yeah. the Kansas City Chiefs jersey. Yeah, I burnt he that burnt bitch. my jersey because I always go, every Super Bowl, I got two jerseys. Two hats. Both, both teams. Ain't no that's way, crazy work. Because, no because that's crazy I got to listen. I got to put the thread out there. Crazy, and I, crazy. And I take, that's, that's what you did in Arizona. Uh, and I take uh, pictures of Arizona. No, no. That's what you did in Arizona. Work, no, no, he burnt my jersey. He threw it in the fire pickers. That's wild work, and, I, and I take pictures of both of the joints in the hats and let the team know fuck up if you want to. You fuck up. You can get with this or you can get with that. That's why I'm work. not never doing that. He's a fucking nut. That, that ain't no real thing. See my Celtics, baby. Oh, the fuck out of here. Tay Tay, JD. That's my, that's my boy. <laughs> He's a fucking agree. nut. Let me ask y'all this. Will I'm back and talk the most shit, boy. Mm. Oh, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Zai Alexander uh, from Colts? 44? From Philly? Uh, no, 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 no. Is it Franklin? Franklin. Zaire Franklin. Yeah. From Philly. Oh, yeah. He a Philly boy? Yeah. The most. He talk crazy like that? Not, not disrespectful. <laughs> That's the most disrespectful shit ever seen. I get you man, going, man, bro. Ain't, like, ain't I get you here. Be bitch ass nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. So he just jumped. You bitch ass nigga. Like for real. Like. <laughs> look, he, look, he look like that shit personal. Right. Like, no, like for real. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> talk to you like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you? Oh, oh yeah. All right, bet. It's on. Like, <laughs> what wide receivers talk the craziest? Steph. 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 He's popping it all game. <laughs> like he's letting you know about it for sure. I can tell. He's letting you know about it because he feel like he the best. He know he the best. So it's like you ain't up to my level. I'm letting you know about it. That's why I was giving him as far as earlier because like on the journey of getting back to playing, you know what I'm saying? I was dealing with so many emotions of like. You know what I mean? Like, sh like fear, anxiety, like the shit was tough to actually play again. Like, let alone, you know what I'm saying? Actually get out there and do it. Even the thought of it was crazy. But his mentality, you know what I'm saying? I adopted a lot of it and like it got me back in that, in that one bag where it's like, it's go time. You know what I mean? Like I, I realigned with my purpose and what I wanted to do in the game. Like, I feel like I'm the best, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm deeply rooted into my process to get there. You know what I'm saying? When you was first coming back, did you ever have that fear when you first got on the field? Like, yo, like, if I hit a motherfucker, is this shit gonna happen again? Yeah, like, like yeah, for, it, it's it's constant. Like, it, it's, it's lo it was low key, like, constant, you know? It, but it'll be the initial thought, you know what I'm saying? Like, while I'm on the sideline. You know, like it'll that that was the hardest part, really, just to stand there. You know what I'm saying? But once I stepped into the lines, did you ever find yourself like, <laughs> oh, never? Like that's what I was just saying. Like once I stepped into the white lines, once I'm on the field and playing, it's go time. Like yeah. once you say down set hut, I'm so not you, thinking you, about you nothing. You fucking dog, yeah. that's that's the I'm one not thing I did. Tell you. I would have went out. I would. Mm -hmm. That's what. That's the one thing. <laughs> They'd be like, you, you tackling like old prom, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just diving at ankles, man. I ain't got <laughs> for this shit. I don't get paid for this shit. I get paid for coverages, man. I ain't tackling no fucking body. Y'all see what the fuck happened? Yeah. <laughs> now, sometimes I do be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like early on, I'm in my head with it, but yeah. like, it's it's literally like once I'm out there, once, I'm, once it's go time, Man, you got to flip that switch. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you can really get hurt by tiptoeing. Like, you you'll get hurt more by tiptoeing and having fear than you are just going. You know what I mean? So, that's just my style of play. It's it's time to go. Like, it's time to go, it's time to go get. It. Well, man, I appreciate y'all, man, for pulling up on us, man. You know, we pulled up on y'all, but coming up, kicking it with us, man. You know, inviting us to you. Charity celebrity nah, game for, for that shit was off the chain. Gen genuinely, the chain. genuinely, we appreciate y'all. Y'all don't understand how big this day was, man. That was a beautiful like, day, man. Yeah, like we, we, that gym was jumping. Like we talked up, we talk about doing stuff like this since we, since high school. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like, and now y'all about to see us have a great time. Really, like oh my that's God. what that's foundation. I'm just gonna say this before. Out of here. Nigga, you're looking like a rapper. When is that album coming out? <laughs> Man, that's some serious ice. That's Probably some serious right shit. So you know, it's, it's levels of ice. You got the the kid ice where you just go to the store, Shout you walk out. in there. Is it a jeweler? And then you got the next level ice. Shout well, out. Yeah, yeah, no frost, man. That's some other shit. Yeah, that's some other. Like, like, you got an album coming out? 
Nah, hmm. man, I don't got no album coming out, man. From an eagle to a panther. No. <laughs> First single. Volume one. Volume <laughs> one. Hey, Booby definitely made a song, though, back when we were oh, like 14, 15. Oh, he did. And it was hard. And me. it was hard, though. Man, bro. Miles, nigga, yeah, I'm the man. 14 and I got that. It was 15. It was I was 15. 15. 15 and I got that. Yeah, that was hard. Look, 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 look. Man, look, 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 you see them come, them two Caucasian brothers right there. They gonna, go they gonna dig that up, they you hear me? <laughs> They're digging that up right now. I got Miles. I got his rap, and I got him rapping it in high school. They gonna find that shit. You gonna be, I'm Miles and I'm the man. I'm 15 and <laughs> 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 Hey, nah, man, I just wanna thank y'all. Look, he looking for it now. Look at this motherfucker. Look, he looking for it right now. He looking for it right now. So you, you never made no song? I did make a song. You ain't gonna find it though. It's on SoundCloud too. For real. I sent it. I sent it. It was in my. It was in my uh, freshman door. Right up here. Right up them? here on top of the hill. Right here. Literally. You oh. just look out the window. Oh. That's a, my what? college dorm. We made a song over Christmas break. Mm -mm. I'm gonna send it to you. <laughs> yeah, I top it to my my big my big brother, my blood brother. Oh. Icy, Icy. He's a producer out here. From oh, okay. Yes, sir. Shout yes, sir. out to Icy, no, Icy man. Nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout Icy, out to really shout out to Hardo too. Me. So, shout out to Hardy, Reese Youngin, shout out to Reese Youngin, Guapo Lennon. I can't find it. But you can't find his rap. Don't worry about it. We gonna yeah, add it. Find it. We gonna add it. You see them two right there? They're going to find it. Trust me. You don't understand. You don't understand. He used to be in charge of your job straps, man. <laughs> no, he worked for the Eagles. No, I'm dead serious. He was the one that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He was one of them deep through your knees. You don't see the ball boys in the in this facility like that, but Yeah, but he 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 the one of them. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, gotta make so. sure everybody's jock strap is <laughs> nice and warm. <laughs> I keep the jock straps at 75 degrees. So. Yeah, he listen, he know you gotta understand, his dad was the first fucking ball boy for the Eagles. Great grandpa. His great grandfather, all right, damn. In the NFL, that old, yeah. huh? Okay. In the NFL. And they, them motherfuckers just passed the job down. All right, you next. Come on, get it in. Go get that check. Come on, you. <laughs> That's a blessing. Sixty years. In the league. 60 years. He, That's listen, legendary, bro. Guess we left the Eagles legendary. for? Thank you. Us. Us. On the one and only. I left. I left the Eagles for. Uh, oh, you a fucking Kansas City. Up. Shut the fuck That's up, you exactly loser. Right. <laughs> Appreciate though. This is another episode. Of me and I was for game. We got Demar Hamlin, we got my man Liddy, Miles Sanders. Yes. And now we about to go to the after party and it's just like that. Right, right.